Hello and welcome back to our Treble D Beach House series. In this video we'll be looking at detailing, applying materials and creating shadows. It's time to apply some colour to our model for presentation purposes. So firstly we'll open up level 1 shell and go to the paint bucket. We click on this tab to view the options. I'm going to choose bricks and cladding and go for this one, cladding, siding, white. And it's looking good but maybe a little flat. We can add a touch of realism by creating extra detail on the building. So we close the level one group. We go to the layers menu and choose guideposts. We'll use them to create timber trim at the corners of the building. So working outside the level one group, we just trace over the top of the guide posts using the rectangle tool. Just work our way around. Trace over here to create a timber baseboard. Now we could actually modify the guide posts and use them but there's a bit of head scratching involved so we'll just use the, the chillax method for the time being. We trace over the door frame and use the offset tool to create the trim. Type in 3.5 or 90 millimetres for the offset and delete the rectangle. Now we take our push pull tool and pull the trim out one inch or 25 millimetres. Then we just work our way around. Pull out the eraser if we have a bit of drama. Sometimes might have to reverse the face, so we just do that as required. So as you can see, a little bit of detail gives the model a significant facelift. So we continue on with the rest of the lower level walls and windows. Then we go to the layers menu. We disable level one. And level two, disable the roof and stair, and we should just be left with the trim. We select all, make group, and assign it to layers trim. We can call it trim L1. We then transfer it to the level one layer using paste in place. So we select all, copy, delete, open level one and paste in place. Now we do the same for level two. There's various methods we can use to create the trim. Paste in place or offsets. Just copy and paste whatever method gets the job done. Now we transfer the trim to level two, the same way as we did for level one. We put the trim on a separate layer because we don't want it to appear on the floor plan. 
It just comes out as messy line work that's difficult to print. This process also allows us to play around with different colour schemes. Now we'll apply the material to level two. Just zip around with the paint bucket. As you can see, there's a line that separates the wall from the roof spandrel. I'd like the boards on the siding to just run up as one continuous surface. So there's actually two lines. There's one on the spandrel in the roof layer and there's one on the top of the wall in the level two layer. So to hide the lines, we select them, go to the entity info box and select hidden. Then we go to the roof layer and do the same thing to the spandrel and apply the material. So now it's starting to look like a real house. We just need to finish off the roof. Open up the group and choose a material. I'm going to go for metal and choose good old corrugated iron. Now we open up the laundry roof and do the same thing. And it's looking good. If we take a look at the shadows, there's not a lot of light on the wall in this image. It's mostly shadow and we can adjust that. We go to view toolbars and select shadows. The shadow toolbar now appears so if we grab the slider we can change the month from the low sun in winter to the higher summer sun. We can also change the time of day from sunrise to sunset. We'll go for the September equinox and select about 11am for no other good reason than it casts a nice shadow on our building for this scene. The SketchUp shadow tool is quite a powerful feature. You can rotate the model to suit north and geolocate your model to be any place on earth at any time and on any orientation that you'd like. Well that's about it for our Beach House series. If you followed along and made your own model, please feel free to mess around with different colours and materials or make any changes you like. Hopefully you've gained some knowledge and experience with the SketchUp process and you now have the ability to launch into designing your own home. Cheers from Treble D.